of course we not everyone goes to school school is not for everybody those who go to learn a trade as well have to be celebrated are celebrated because they are the lucky ones they begin to make money like almost immediately you know they don't have to study anything they basically just have to learn a trade and begin to make money from some point so you know these people would be sometimes even already have houses and cars before those that went to school but of course they have a higher they have less chance of getting the executive job you know so Ionda is uh, okay you, let me explain how things are done now usually when a child has gotten to the age where they decide okay you know sign for me to learn a trade i don't i mean usually they would ask do you want to go to school or do you want to learn a trade back then the parents often decided though you know some very strict parents would say i want you to learn a trade but some very nice parents would say do you want to go to school especially when the education was free when the britons newly came and stuff when the white man first came the education was was free i think but it was mixed with christianity so i i don't want to go into all that but you know they would ask and when you say you want to learn a trade okay they take you to the person that is going to teach you you know it's not an actual celebration till you actually learn the trade so there's nothing to celebrate you're basically you basically have no clue about i mean you can have a clue but there's really nothing to be celebrated most people would usually learn these trades with their parents or their uncles of course but if it wasn't a trade that their parents practiced or knew stuff about they would learn from other people so my point here is it wasn't really a celebration starting to learn a trade wasn't a celebration what's up what were you celebrating you don't even know anything you know so it is when you actually come out of that when you actually learn that trade that you would uh, be celebrated so in that is permission it's what it is called the end result of the learning some people it really wasn't defined you know there were some tra- traits that would take someone two years that would take another person ten years just because it's taken them a while to grasp the fundamentals of that business sometimes their bosses would even intentionally delay their sort of graduation just because they want them to stay and serve them longer so you're basically working with this person they're not paying you they will sometimes offer you food or most of the time offer you food but they won't pay you for the work you'll be as you're working with them you're also learning from them so they won't be paying you you would in fact pay them uh, give them gifts and stuff if you can afford the calories or the cash if you learn a trade and it gets to a point where your boss feels like you've gotten to a point where you have a good grasp of what that trade is about they would celebrate you by giving you in your da which is permission nigerians would often call in your da freedom in your da is not freedom it's permission i'm permitting you to go learn this to go practice to go get your own shop and become a full-time hairdresser or go or go out to parties and be their drummer you know or if it's carpentry go get your own client beyond that so i'm not your boss anymore you're now a boss on your own that's what the celebrations are called and so it's not so like i said it's not uh, i mean it's not uh freedom freedom the translation of freedom is ominira it is when you're i mean you're learning the trade from this person it's not like they are like your slave master or they are keeping you under your guard and, and treating you like a slave and now you have your freedom because you didn't have your freedom before no so nigeria should take note it's not freedom it is permission that's the translation of your that so it's the translation of it is release that is when i just 
Ephesians this as a side note when you are free from something you know you've been released from some sort of bondage or minera is like freedom when you're free from some sorts of circumstance or, or, or situation so if that's not the translation stop saying freedom freedom over freedom no want to celebrate permission to now begin to celebrate their own uh, sorry to now begin to practice the trade that they've spent years to learn so that's that if you look at this picture you would see a kind of example the woman standing uh right beside the two women on the right is the boss with the bag you, you can almost tell the greeting would be you know the permission that you now have to go practice your own stuff you know greeting you for the celebration of your permission to now start your you say um, it's not it's not freedom <laughs> i just don't like the term freedom it's very annoying so or you can see a quarry you know after this many years of trying to learn this trade have a grasp of this trade you now know what it entails and now you can you know go practice so what's the prayer of course your rabbi one prayer yeah again like this your rabbi people must offer prayers often so they will say oh worry lo ma fi pa oh worry le ma fi pa sometimes if you buy maybe a car or something because you want to be a taxi driver as well it's some kind of trade too as well you know you learn how to drive from someone maybe not for as long as many years and now you buy a car and now you want to be a taxi person they would people would offer a greeting and say the the car that you bought you would make good money with it so here you can say to someone that is your your age mate or younger or to someone that is older or more than one person so you know i talked about the difference between the o and the ma basically the same thing is you would make good money with the skill that you've learned so that's the prayer that you would hear what's next the wedding of course as you know the weddings are super important i can't wait to get married myself in all honesty but not now looking at another decade or a little less than a decade or so i don't have time for that now so so that's just an aside. What's the greeting that you would offer? It would be Ekwaya ye Egbeyawo. You know, I'm greeting you for the celebration of your wedding. Ekwaya ye Egbeyawo. When you're like part of it, part of the celebration itself, you have a role to play in the wedding. So are cool. It involves us. It's our wedding. Ekwaya ye Egbeyawo. You know. And what are the usual prayers that you hear? Yeah, what well, finish show you after you go more for your bad people and once you marry like this, they expect that within a couple of years, you're already producing children. Like once you're married, you're basically a baby, not to contemporary or bad people, of course, but back then, like the main purpose of getting married was to start procreating. So the usual greetings that you would hear would be Yeah, what well, finish show you after you go more for may she you know get pregnant and able to put a child on her back fairly usually the way that the yoruba people carry their children around is on their back i have a video on how to tie your baby on your back i feel like i have videos of most of those things that i'm saying but that's cool so you can watch that video and the video is very cringe worthy you know i was i was pretty young i can't even watch the video myself but you can watch it the yoruba style of Tying babies to the back. <laughs> I was sort of showing you guys with a doll or something a couple of years ago, maybe a year ago or something. So you should check that video out. Uh, in Yawa, I'm gonna show you may she conceive after in Gomopo and be able to put a child on her back, you know, deliver safely. 
Another prayer you would hear for the new wife would be You know, the back of the wife would not uh, would not touch the mat when she's delivering just because if the the birth is not going smoothly and you can't push and your back is on the mat, you might have to go through some Isha Bay or some uh, some cesarean section you know or, or something or or even die you know so yeah and many the wife will not be tired when she's pushing out the baby when she's bringing the baby to the world her back will not touch the mat she will have the strength to hold herself and push so that's that so this this we need we we really need to we we need not even we need now we need to chill like nobody's even going to say ah may you enjoy you know the honeymoon with your husband or may you you know may the sex game be absolutely a o nobody's going to offer that kind of greeting to you it will just be <laughs> may you start giving back just like that very let me never say anything let me go straight to the next one which is oku oku is burial don't this is not a celebration in and of itself you know per se someone died it's not a celebration but if the person is old uh the your baby will consider it a celebration they throw big parties and you know they invite lots of people so if the person who died is an adult what do you say is not even an adult is a very old person or like an old person at least the person is at least 60 you know usually it could be more than that before is considered a quagba the death of an of an adult of a old person of uh, an old person so you would you would hear equa saying day or aqua saying day if you are somehow related to the person that died so the person is the family, whether nucleus or extended, is part of your family. You would say aqua saying they just because it involves you as well. You know. So aqua saying they would be for like someone that is maybe like my close friend who I'm not really just the person that is there. So aqua saying they we don't forget the differences between the echo and the aku. Aku when you're sort of involved, when the person is related to you, echo when you're not that Later, mama, it's uh, an old woman. baba, if it's an old man. is the pronoun for him or her, you know, for them. So if you don't know the dead person, but you know that the burial is being done, you would say ekwa sende. And if you know that the person that died is like an old person, the older, say a kwasa indi, kwasa indi mama, a kwasa indi baba, a kwasa indi one. You don't. That is if you don't know the gender of that person. You don't know if the person that died was a man or a woman, or just offering these people greetings because they are mourning or celebrating, not necessarily mourning. I mean, people would cry, but it's not mourning to stay. So. Or oh, aqua say day mama, aqua say day papa, aqua say day one when you're related to the person. Don't forget. So, another prayer that you will hear, of course, I said it, your Ruba people and prayer, they are what? They are like this. The prayer you will hear would be, any order. The Asayi you day is, you know, their exit, their, yeah, their exit, they are leaving you sort of to you and the world they are going somewhere else the other world are saying they they've turned their back to the earth you know they've said goodbye to the earth is the saying it now any order is the the what they've left like the life like they won't die and there will now be two more in your house or they won't die and Someone else will not be, will not die, or people will not begin to die in the family. After that death, there would be peace. 
you know, no more trouble in that house. Everyone would be fine. There would be no bad consequences of your death or bad events after their death or bad results of your own death. Nobody would die after them. So any moda. So any mamoda if it's a woman, any baboda if it's a man, any moda if you don't want to be specific or if you or if you know what the apple don't want to be specific whatever say any ma any moda any mamoda any baboda but what they've left would uh would not spoil that's the transliteration but if it's uh someone that is young unfortunately Papa is still young, you know. So you would hear Kama Liwema. We will never see such again. No. That this kind of thing would not happen again. Kama Liwema. Kama Liwema. Or Aoni Liwema. We will never see this kind of thing again, you know. This death will be the end of uh, such rubbish you know, in our house. Or Aoni Liwema. Kamari Wemo, Kamari Wemo. You would often even say Kamari Wemo because you know you feel sympathetic. You know you're you're involving yourself as well. You know the person who was a person we we are one big family. You know we will never see that kind of thing again. Kamari Wemo or Aunty oh, Wemo. But if there's any celebration at all that I have not covered. It would be a cool or a cool or cool that celebration. So if it's uh, Kwanzaa, for example, it was nothing like Kwanzaa in your ballad back then, you know, killing killing your Kwanzaa. So you would say a cool Kwanzaa, but you wouldn't say Kwanzaa just because there's no Z in your bar. So a cool Kwanzaa. <laughs> so most of your Yoruba celebrations will be Eku, Aku, Aku, the noun. So Eku Kwanza, Eku uh, Olefu. So Eku, just because these things were not present in, you know, 18th century Yoruba land or before, so uh, we don't have any Yoruba words for them. We would just trans say it the way your bad person would say it, write it that way and call it the Yoruba translation. So if you want to say it, then you can say it for it. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask me. Comment below if you like this video, if you learned something, if there's any funny thing you want to add. Nobody ever comments on that video and I have to say it's a little depressing. I know, I know I used to be very boring just because I was going through some sort of depression and stuff. I don't want to mention my personal life. But, uh-uh. Try to comment, please, and say, I, okay, I was here or something. I hope you have a great week. Thank you for watching the video. Goodbye. I